index laws example four now. Now this is the one's focusing on index law three, which in case you've forgotten is where you've got a set of brackets and a power outside the brackets. And for this one, you end up multiplying. So two times four is eight. So when you have brackets, you multiply the power. So we'll write that down here. All right. So starting on question A, what a lot of people do is they just go four times two is eight. And that's not right because there's actually more than one power in here. If there's no power, we're told there's a power of 1. That's a to the power of 1. In fact, the 4 also has a power of 1. So when you do this one, what you do is you go 1 times 2 is 2. And for the a, 1 times 2 is 2. And for the b, 4 times 2 is 8. Notice that each power is multiplied by the power outside the brackets. We can go one more step because 4 squared is 4 times 4, or 16. Alright, let's look at question B. Same thing again. We really need to put our powers of 1 in there when they don't have a power. And we're only going to multiply the powers by 3. So, 1 times 3 is 3. And then we've got our C. 2 times 3 is 6. Alright, and then we've got our 4. 1 times 2 is 2. And for our C, 1 times 2 is 2. And for our D, 3 times 2 is 6. Now we've basically worked on the brackets. Question B is tricky because it has a multiplication between it. And essentially what we're doing is after using index law 3, we're now going to go back and focus on index law 1, which stated that anything with the same base, you can just add the powers, and the, there's actually only one with the same base, and that's the c. c to the power of 6, and c to the power of 2. Alright, so when we do this, we've got 3 to the power of 3, and 4 to the power of 2, we'll just write it as times, and then we've got our c, now we've got a 6 and a 2, we're going to add them up to make 8, because index law 1 states that you, if you're multiplying, you add the powers. And then we've got d to the power of 6, all on its own, so it just stays the same. We can go an extra step, just, this is a bit messy here, the 3 to the power of 3 times the 4 squared, and we can actually just type that in our calculator, 3 to the power of 3 times, times 4 squared gives us 432. And it just looks a lot nicer if we just write it as one whole number. We work out the number part and then write c to the power of 8 and d6 or d to the power of 6 next to it. 